I would say Pantelec is for us was uh, the next project processor in which we have decided to take Luna Lake into the mass production, meaning take it to higher volumes uh, with additional performance, more segments, bring the Luna Lake architecture into Intel Pulses. We've got our next generation P and E cores, uh, Cougar Cove, that's the new P core, and Darkmont, that's the new E core. And so we took both of those and we built them specifically for Panther Lake in 18A. We, we changed lots of little things about them, you know, to bring a bit of IPC. So we've got more prediction, we've got more cache, we've, we've got a different structure, we've got a different core mix on Panther Lake, which is really, really nice. So our SOC gets the intent of, you know, whether it's maximizing efficiency or maximizing performance. And accordingly, we take internal power management decisions on how to allocate resources, how to ramp up frequencies, you know, do we need to look at anything else while allocating budgets between different operations. We set ourselves up for the next gen. That's XE3, which we just right. launched. XE3 is pretty cool. We've improved efficiency. We've made caches improve better. We dedicate more area to graphics. So for the first time, we're building the largest integrated graphics device at Intel ever. We're up to uh, 12 XE cores. So we've gotten wider and each of those XE cores is actually more efficient. We've added more caching. We do lots of optimizations internally. So our net result is about 50% better per, per watt. We found with Lunar Lake that this whole move towards agents and generational AI for PC clients is accelerating. And we needed to find a way to bring that same MPU performance down our stack, which means that we can't afford to have a gigantic MPU. We need to find a way to make it smaller. Right. So that's what MPU5 is mostly about. It's about doing area efficiency so that we can afford to make that MPU go everywhere. AI-based noise reduction allows us to take the raw data from the sensor Mm -hmm. take it to the memory, and then pass it to other compute engines like the NPU, where we run specialized neural networks that actually do noise reduction in the bare domain, and that means in the raw bare domain. What we are launching now with Parental Lake and Oracast, which is based on Bluetooth LE, you can now share your personal audios with multiple headsets now. All right, sold. All right, right. where I get this? <laughs> and, you know, so it's really a cool feature. Um, you know, we can now, the, the PC is going to be able to handle multiple headsets now, right? So whenever you control volume, everything, you're going to be able to see multiple headsets connected. And so, uh, you know, we are really excited about this feature.